Yo, what's up, man? It's the Style Pilot, and I am back. Before we get started, man, like, comment, subscribe. If you don't want to see my beautiful face talking about shoes, clothes, hats, fragrances, you know, turtlenecks, boots, jeans, slacks, suits, it hurts nothing at all for you to scroll down and boop, hit the like button. But if you do want to see my beautiful face talking about all these cool fashion topics and all of that good stuff, man, listen. Hit the subscribe button, share with a friend. Today, I want to get right into it real quick. My fragrance combination of the week. Mara and Tonka by Joe Malone. And then you combine that with a new fragrance I kind of use every now and then. It's English Oak and Hazelnut. Now, Joe Malone, uh, from what I know, most of their fragrances are supposed to be unisex. Some of them smell more girly, but for the most part, most of their fragrances are unisex fragrances or unisex and um, the big thing about Joe Malone to me is um, that's different is most to be honest most of their fragrances smell like air fresheners if it makes sense like it doesn't have a lot of the fragrances have a particular smell that smells like a candle or smells like something that you would spray in your house and make it smell good but you're putting it on your body if that makes sense and it still ends up working out well, especially when you combine the two, combine different fragrances together. Now, with the I have a lot of Joe Malone fragrances, I have a lot of samples, um, but I'll tell you this, if you're looking to do the ultimate combination type thing, Joe, Malone, Joe Malone's fragrances, period, are the best to do it. Um, I, use, I used to use Vanilla and Anise as the base which they stopped making it, and Myra and Tonka is a replacement of that. It's supposed to have replaced it, and I use this as a base now, but um, when I say base, I mean I spray this on first, and then I combine it with other fragrances to see what it's gonna smell like. But with these two, it's nothing extremely extravagant, but it's a nice, smooth fragrance that it makes when you combine it together. Um, when you do have these two, remember, like I said, uh, Myra and Tonka, if I'm saying it right, and uh, English English oak and hazelnut. I want to spray the modern talk on first, and there's just a little bit of the oak and hazelnut, and it will mostly smell like modern talk, but it still gives it a little bit more twang. I can't really explain the fragrance on the English oak and hazelnut. Um, it, it just smells to me, honestly, it just smells like a good smelling candle. But with Myra and Tonka, it's a lot of vanilla notes in it. Um, it's just a smooth fragrance. It's something that when, it's like when you walk by somebody or someone smells these two together, or when I smell these two together, it just smells like a smooth, um, a smooth, uh, creamy, <laughs> is that a smell? A smooth, creamy fragrance. So, guys, if you're looking to try this out, I always tell you guys, when you're getting into fragrances, always start off with samples before you spend a lot of money on these high-end fragrances. Like this bottle right here, I think it's like 100 bucks, 120 bucks, and this one is like 60. Um, they've probably gone up a little bit more, but I'm pretty sure you guys can find samples online. Try it out, see if you like it, tell me what you think, guys. That is pretty much it for the fragrance combination of the week. Like, comment, subscribe, and remember, you are the flyest motherfucker on earth. I'll see y'all later.